Hi guys, today I'll be unboxing Stray Kids. This is their third full-length album, S-Class. It just released today, basically. The music video came out last night and I absolutely loved their comeback. As you can see though, I went to Target, <laughs> which means I crossed the border. I am insane for Stray Kids. We got some stories for this unboxing, so sit tight, grab some popcorn. Let's get into the unboxing. I have all three of the regular editions, version A, B, and C. And then I actually have the limited edition, which is amazing. It doesn't have the Target sticker on there, but I'm pretty sure it does come with the exclusive card. I could be wrong. I'm not bothered by it at all. Yes, oh my gosh, okay. I left the plastic on just because I wanted to show the little Target sticker there. <laughs> I don't go to Target often because we don't have them here in Canada and that it means I would have to cross the border. So yeah, don't do it often. So this is quite exciting for me. <laughs> well, actually I'm gonna take the thumbnail without the plastic. Plastic has been taken off. I'm so excited to go through these. We will start off with the version A here. I brought the camera down slightly. I don't know if that's any better. Oh, I'm so excited. That's the front cover. S class, let's go. It actually has the Comcut sticker on there. Looks like it would be Korean press. Stray Kids' third album. I'm so excited. Okay, I'm gonna take my cards out. That's probably where they are. I've not seen any unboxings because this is the day of the release. <laughs> okay, I need to calm down. I'm not going to get too overly excited because that can sometimes get annoying. But Stray Kids are one of my semi-alts, so I do tend to get a little overly excited. What is that? <laughs> I thought that was colorful popcorn. It could be. Chan, oh my gosh. Okay, I just have to say that Lino has shined so much in this comeback. He is doing amazing, but honestly, everyone is. Oh my gosh, my cat nails. <laughs> I just had to wear these cat nails again because it matches my sweater here. Changbin. You know, I wonder if my Changbin curse will continue on. <laughs> Stay tuned for my photo card polls. It actually has been quite a while since their last comeback because that was the end of last year and we're like in the middle of 2023 right now. It definitely has been a while, but I honestly just want Stray Kids to rest. I definitely feel like JYP is overworking them a little bit, you know, with the world tours and everything. Ooh, the um, texture and the pages changed. These ones were glossy. Yeah, so the, the album, oh my gosh, it was so good, of course, as I would expect from Stray Kids. Here's the track list here. It's so hard to pick like one or a couple favorites because I really loved this album. But I'd say my number one favorite, I do have a number one. Where is it? <laughs> I was going to point it out. There it is, this one. Jisung in this song, oh my gosh. Like, I kind of died inside, but that's my favorite. Um, I also really like this one. And I like this one and, and this one. I think those are probably my top favorites. Oh, and I just loved this song to end off the album with kind of before like Korean version of the sound and everything and the outro mixtape but it was just such a well put together album in my opinion like such a, I thought this was an amazing song to start off with Stray Kids have done it again and I'm so so very happy and also I'm going to Korea in a couple weeks and I don't think they will be promoting by the time I get there but that would have been cool to be there when they're promoting but at least I got to go over to America to pick this album up the day of the release that's always fun. It's funny because I went to Target. I don't know if you care for a story time right now, but um, I went and drove to Target. Well, I went with my mom because there's, I don't, I get like nervous driving myself across the border. So <laughs> I asked my mom to come with me and um, oh my God, zoom in with this lip ring. I just have to say his part in the title track is like one of my favorite parts in the entire song. I love it. It's addicting. I cannot stop listening to it. But um, Jungin, so I'm gonna like, I try to like, I just want to compliment all their visuals, but I do want to say some story time bits in here. <laughs> so um, yeah, I went to Target. I got in there like, I left at like seven in the morning because I got to drive over across the border. I got there like pretty like five minutes after the opening, which is eight a.m. And I walked in there and there was already two girls standing by the K-pop section. I was like, okay, so I'm not the only one that has this plan. Yeah, so, and then a couple more girls showed up, and we were kind of all just standing around, and I was like, is the employee getting the albums, and you're just waiting for him? And they're like, yeah. So I was like, okay. So we kind of just, like, stood around and chatted for a bit, like, who's your bias? What do you think of the album? <laughs> I sound like a very talkative person, like, right now, because <laughs> I'm, like, blabbing so much right now, but I'm honestly, like, in person really shy, and I don't say much until I get to know you better. Oh my gosh, you look so good here. It was a pretty chill vibe with those girls over there in Target. <laughs> 
more fans start showing up. It starts getting a little crowded in the Target area. And they were just taking so long in the back to get the albums. And then more people started showing up. And then apparently like half of these people are also there for the N hyphen album. So like half of us were there for Stray Kids, half of us were there for N hyphen. <laughs> so that's why there was so many people there. And yeah, they were taking forever in the back. And he finally came out with just the limited edition and we're like, oh, there's also like three more versions. <laughs> So there was a lot of waiting in Target, but hey, I made some friends, so <laughs> we love that. We love making friends in Target. I'm usually horrible at making friends because I have trouble speaking to strangers. <laughs> but yeah, I like made a new friend and now like I have a possible concert buddy for the future. <laughs> the outcome of going now to the States to pick this album up was positive because not only did I get this album on the day of the release, I made a new friend. The only thing that can make this better is if I pulled some Jisung photo cards because he's my bias. Although I would love to pull a wide variety of members since I am an OT8 collector. I have been collecting all the members since pre-debut. Yeah, Stray Kids, like I've never like fully announced, but like they have always been my semi-alts at least since literally pre-debut. <laughs> I watched their survival show. I've literally been with them every second of every moment and I always will be because I just absolutely adore Stray Kids. They are like one of the most top quality groups in my opinion. You know, like they just never release anything bad. I love the members. They're so lovable and adorable and so talented and I'm actually really sad I couldn't go to their concert that they recently had last year and they did the encore as well. I couldn't make it. I just wish they would come to Canada because I keep going to them. So can they please come to me? I mean, of course, I don't mind going to them. They're worth it, in my opinion. But for me, it's really hard to take time off work. So I'm really, really hoping manifest with you guys that they come to Canada, Vancouver specifically. At least I have a new concert buddy. Anyways, that was the photo book for this version. I really liked it. I liked the bright outfits and all the bright colors. And we have the CD. There we go. Yeah, my cat nails are something else, huh? <laughs> It's because my I actually had my nails like professionally done. I had acrylics on and the glue that's left behind was just nasty. That's why I'm putting these these nails over top to like cover the nasty looking glue. <laughs> Alright, so that was the first version. You get a poster in it. I think this is like a North American thing. There's the poster. He looks look so good. Although this um this crease is doing him dirty. <laughs> I love Hengen's like ready pinky kind of a hair. There you go. There's also this, which I assume is the lyric booklet. Oh, or like maybe not. A Marshall amp. Chan looks so good there. They're really pulling off these outfits. This is actually a different concept than what was in the photo book. And now I'm curious if all of the lyric books are gonna be looking like this. Oh, he's so cute. Come on, manifesting Jisung. If anyone watched my um, ordinary unboxing, I pulled so many Jisungs, it was insane. Like what, I pulled like six or something and it was all the same card. <laughs> I mean, I would love that, but all different cards in this. Okay, we have the goodie pouch here. All right, let's go and open it. Do I just take stuff out one by one or how are we doing this? Oh, there we go, there we go, there we go. Ooh, so is this random? It is, and I got Lino. Ooh, this is interesting. That's really cute. All right, so that was my postcard, Lino's postcard. Oh my gosh, what am I pulling out here? <laughs> we got stickers, it seems with the track list. There you go. It's so nice to have a full album, you know? Like, I was so excited to have a full album full of amazing songs. Oh my gosh, what is this? What, 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 what am I pulling out? We have some little, ooh, it looks like comics. Well, that one does. Ooh, I don't know if this is like a North American inclusion or what. This is cool. It's like a page from a comic book. I love that. All right, is it this photo card left? 
Okay, I'm just gonna pull them out one by one. I don't know which one is the, oh, the first pull, the first pull. Oh my gosh, and it's the prettiest card, the most stunning card. I cannot believe my first pull is Jisung. Oh my gosh. Oh, wow. <laughs> I was not expecting that piece. I love that the front is glossy and the back is matte. I do prefer matte photo cards, but this is really cool. Okay, we're off to such an amazing start. <laughs> I don't know which one is the target card. Is it this one? <gasps> Jungin, so pretty. Oh, I love his, um, his brown hair. Uh, Jungin's there. Yeah, usually the um, target cards aren't selfies this is probably it yes this looks like it and i got sing mini oh it's so pretty i kind of miss his um his blonde bangs that was such a look wasn't it <laughs> there you go oh i love him Sungmin is just killing it this era so that was everything for this version let's go through the version b next i'm kind of like shaking because i was really nervous earlier today <laughs> not with having to socialize with people although i do get really really nervous but i was just nervous about something else and also having to film so i get like really anxious so excuse if i if you see me like shaking a lot i love how thick the album is as well like that's a pretty decent photo book inclusions have been taken out i love this dragon and it's in the shape of an s for s class i love the yellow too that's different Ooh. ah so this was the photo shoot that was in the lyric booklet in the last version oh those pants <laughs> oh my gosh but like i have to say this other story I was on my way to the border crossing. I had to go to the other border crossing though, um, a different one, because it opened up earlier and I didn't want to like delay getting this any longer because I also have work to do. Like I work from home today. I sound like I'm not doing my work, but trust me, Fridays are really slow. So I will get to it right after this video, but um, I just didn't want to waste any time. So I drove to like the other border crossing and they're much meaner at that one. Like, they're seriously mean. They really hound you on why you're crossing. And so like, I was with my mom, and so like, obviously she was talking, and, and I'm always like, don't say we're going for K-pop albums. And so like, we get there and he's like, oh, so what? what's the reason for your trip? And we're like, oh, we're just going shopping. And he's like, what for? And my mom's like, uh, just like, just a few things. We're going to Target. And so then he's like looking at us. He looks at my passport and he's like, Katie, what is your job? What do you do for work? And I was like, and I explained to him what I did. And then he's like, why are you not at work right now? And I was like sitting there sweating. Like, <laughs> I don't know why. It's because he was like grilling us and I, I got so nervous. And it really sounded like I was skipping out on work. <laughs> but, um, and my mom had the day off work anyway. So it's like, I don't know. He, he, he looked at, at us like we're really suspicious. So that kind of made me extra nervous <laughs> before getting to Target. So yeah, that's that story. Ooh, it just, it makes me nervous even thinking about it. Anyways, I'm really liking the visuals in this photo book. It's like a darker theme than the first one. The first one was like bright colors, bright outfits. This one is a little bit darker. I love Chan's dark hair. I think, honestly, in my opinion, black hair suits him the best. Also, same with Felix. I really, truly love his black hair. Yeah, like, I know he tends to like blonde more, and he, he does blonde hair much more than the darker hair. But I think the dark hair just hits different. But of course, he looks amazing in the blonde anyways. And we have Felix Ab's appearance. I also love like when JYP posts the teasers for Stray Kids, they always have them in the same pair. Felix and Jisung, it's perfect because Felix and Jisung are like my top biases in Stray Kids and they're always paired together in the teasers and it's amazing. Yeah. Oh, and I also have to mention that one rap part with Felix and Jisung, they did that for me. <laughs> I love that part in the song so much. That's like another one of my favorite parts. Well, I was going to ask you guys, if you've watched up to this point, what your favorite B-side is. I've seen, I mean, I tried um, talking with people on Twitter last night because usually when an album releases, we're like all tweeting about it. But it seems like no one is on Twitter at 9 p.m. Western time. Like the timeline was not popping last night. <laughs> like I got like no 
buddy to talk to about the album so um probably because for a lot of people on the east coast it was really late for them they just wanted to get to bed but for me it was only 9 p.m so yeah the timeline it, it usually is never that busy or like yeah at that time i find like 9 p.m to like 11 is really quiet time so yeah <laughs> but yeah i was gonna ask you guys what your favorite b-side is I just really loved this album. It's so straight kid sounding in my opinion. Kenshin looks so good here. I miss them. At least I was able to see them live in 2020. February of 2020. Yep, right before COVID. <laughs> Thankfully, I did meet them though. I've explained my um, experience meeting them before. I have a like, funny story about that, but I don't want to explain it so many times. But I had such a good interaction with Stray Kids and I was so thankful I was able to meet them before covid so i got to do high touch and everything oh did i just i don't think i even skipped to the next page and i'm also sorry if i'm going really slow i just i sometimes get caught up in my stories and i end up going a bit slower but hey we get to look at the photos better get a better look at them or what some people do is put my videos on two times speed or like what is it 1.75 or 1.50 speed or something like that that is always recommended for my videos <laughs> Because, man, do I never shut up. I don't. I literally don't shut up. Because I don't like silence. For me, it's, like, awkward to just sit there in silence. <laughs> but I feel like sometimes I blab way too much. Like, it sounds like I'm on something or something. <laughs> I'm not. The poster. Also, I tend to get more excited for, like, groups that are part of my alt line, you know? Ooh, this one is a nice vertical poster. Jason looks so good. This man. <laughs> okay, we're gonna have to do it like this. Yeah, there you go. And we have the little booklet here. It is different. It's red, but oh, the um, photos are different. See, this is the photo book that was in the first one, so I'm not sure why they mixed them or was it an accident? Wait, was this the first photo book? I can't remember now. <laughs> yeah, it was. It was. I remember this shirt. I swear my short-term memory is really bad, but my long-term memory is amazing. Like, I remember little tiny details of even when I was a kid. Not joking. Like, my long-term memory is great. <laughs> Just for some reason, my short-term memory is, like, the worst ever. Okay, let's go. Let's look through the goodie pouch. We are ready for this. Let's try and take this poster thing out, which is kind of hard. Oh, this one was easier. Who did we get? Oh, I am telling you, my Jisung look is so good right now. Oh my gosh, Jisung came through. Sometimes he loves me and sometimes he hates me. It's one or the other. He looks so good. I love this like, what, what kind of color do you call this? I, I really like it. All right. And we've got these stickers, which seem to be the same. Yes. Okay. And what am I pulling out next here? Oh yeah, the, the little um, postcards or whatever you want to call these. The comic. Is it different or the same? I can't remember. I can't see. I'm telling you, my short-term memory is so bad. I think it's actually different, so no, it could be the same. <laughs> I am telling you. It's, it's embarrassing how easily I forget things. Okay, photo cards. Oh my gosh. We got my Changbin curse is continuing on. Actually, we're pulling like all different members, which is actually what I asked for. <laughs> I that's all I want is to pull a wide variety of members, but we do like it when I pull a photo card curse. Oh, his is upside down. I pull Changbin probably the most out of all Stray Kids members, and we love that it continues on. <laughs> and it's such a pretty card. Okay, what do we have next? Oh, Felix, we're pulling all different members. Like everything has been different. Oh my gosh. So we got this stunning Felix card. Ooh, I love this, this outfit on him. Wow, look at that. Ooh, this one's... Because it's so, it's so much different. You no, know, it's probably... Knowing JYP, they do like different types and they put them all randomly. Maybe I was just coincidentally pulling this type. I don't think that's the target card. Yeah, this is the target card. And I got 10. Oh my gosh, everything has been different. Like, other than, like, the um, postcards, that Jisung was, like, the only 
remember I've pulled twice now like everything has been different that's such a pretty Chan card too look at him I love the way they styled his hair here oh my gosh he looks so good yeah that's the target card for sure wow okay my luck is so good right now oh i have another story to tell so stay tuned for the next version i won't i won't like go so in, in depth it's about the album so anyways okay that was that all right version c let's go this is a really pretty cover i like all of the covers actually they really did an amazing job with the design here okay let's take this out whoops okay that kind of dropped on the floor <laughs> Ooh, I love the blue. I'm absolutely loving the blue. Loving it. Oh my gosh, this is my favorite so far for the colors. Ooh, I think this one might be my favorite. Just looking at these sparkly pants. Hey, I'm wearing my pants like this today too. I'm wearing like jeans and I have them rolled up like that. So about my story, it's actually not really a story, but I, after I got the albums at Target, there's literally a Barnes & Noble like five minutes away. So we went to the Barnes & Noble and I was actually going to pick up three or four extra copies depending if they had the limited i was going to pick them up at barnes and noble because i did hear that they had a barnes and noble exclusive version with the exclusive cards like they did last time and we got there and they're not open until 10 and i was like no <laughs> i am not waiting around until 10 and it was like it was like 8 45 at the time we got there so i was like yeah no we i cannot be waiting around in the states all this time it would just delay getting this filmed and getting it up although i really really wanted more copies to open up for my unboxing video but i i thought it through while i was driving and i have lots of copies coming from korea from other sites that do pre-order benefits so yeah i don't want to end up with too many copies you know this photo of felix oh my gosh he he knows how pretty he is <laughs> So yeah, but I was thinking of doing another one of my Stray Kids hauls. I've done them like, I started doing them during um, during No Easy era. I did like a I Bought Stray Kids album, No Easy, from four different sites with pogs. And I, I've done it every time now. Um, oh no, I, did, I don't think I did it for um, Ordinary because of the size of that album. <laughs> I didn't want to end up with too many copies, so I don't think I did that for um ordinary but i did it for maxident and i did it for christmas evil as well so i was thinking of doing it for this album because we all know how many pogs that stores do for stray kids <laughs> like we got we got a whole bunch i've already ordered my albums from make star and actually that's the only one i've ordered so far i didn't i usually order from like music plant Soundwave, and k-town for you but i was a little bit late so I don't know if I'll be able to get them now. It might be too late, but I'll see if I'm still able to. Because if not, then yeah, the video is not happening. But yeah, maybe I will go over to the States another day and pick up the Barnes & Noble album. We'll see. And I can um, update my photo card polls on my Instagram. I've been filming more Instagram reels these days. At least I've been trying to um, because I kind of stopped doing hauls on YouTube. Um, instead, I'm doing the Instagram reel. So if you want to follow my Instagram, look in my description, not to like self-promote or anything. I'm just like giving you the option if you ever want to see some extra content from me, you can definitely follow my um, Instagram, which is in my description. And sometimes I'm posting shorts instead of the haul videos. Yeah, and I, I think those are better for me because people stopped watching my hauls and it's not a problem for me. It's actually kind of tiring to film those hauls anyways. I really actually like filming the short videos and Instagram reels and stuff. So, okay, I don't mean to <laughs> make this video about my channel art or anything, but um, I was just mentioning, I mean, it is relating to this album because I was thinking of filming um, me opening up extra copies in shorts and Instagram reels or something. So um, if you're interested, Felix, what are you doing? Do not do this to me right now. <laughs> no, sir. But yeah, if you're interested, definitely follow my Instagram. But um, yeah, oh my gosh, Felix. You know, I just, I for some reason, I had a flashback to pre-debut era Felix. He like really stole my heart. I just, for some reason, I felt like he was kind of an underdog during pre-debut. He's really grown his popularity since pre-debut. And I think he's really improved overall in his performance and everything he's just amazing i really applaud felix for all the hard work he's he's um put into his 
his like work ethic and everything but i mean that for every stray kids member they've really come a long way i'm just like kind of like imagining in my head back in the day back in 2017 during their pre-debut show they've really come a long way and i'm so proud of them i just i knew they were going to be big it's actually funny way back during pre-debut or is it right when they debuted um they weren't super popular like they are right now and someone said to me on instagram like um do you think Stray Kids will, will be big in the future? And I said, oh, I know they will be. I was looking back in my um, archive on my Instagram one day and I saw that and I was like, wow, I predicted their future. Because <laughs> yeah, they're like really big right now and they sold, what was it, like 5 million copies in pre-orders or something like that? Oh my gosh, that is so impressive. Ooh, that sound. That is not my favorite sound in the world. <laughs> but yeah, like this album alone with the sales just goes to show you how well Stray Kids are doing. Oh, oh, this way. CD. I feel like I talked so much, but I'm not apologizing because people always say, don't apologize. I'm not apologizing. I'm just like thinking to myself like, wow, <laughs> I really did talk a lot. So yeah. Anyways, that was that. We have the poster. Ooh, this one's nice. I like this, this design. You know what the, they did these for the postcards inside the album. I like that. With the stars, I really, really like that. He looks his fluffy hat. Oh my god, Jason. <laughs> I just, I, I can never get over how beautiful he is. And the little booklet here. Oh, it's the same. Are these random? I don't know. This seems to be the same, so we don't need to fully look through that, but yeah, okay. And my goodie pouch, let's go. Who did we get? I thought there was nothing in here. I looked and it was like nothing, but they're all in front of the poster here, or postcard. I almost had a heart attack there. And we got Felix, oh my gosh, we got my top two for like these postcards. Wait, no, we got my top three because Lino was my third bias. What the heck? Man, the stars are aligned. <laughs> like the stars have been aligned for me a lot this month. Not even this month, like this year. Like this year has been really good for me so far. So yeah, that is the Felix postcard. Okay, okay, okay. I'm kind of like pulling all this out now. So the, is it different or the same? We'll show it up close in case. No, it's the same for sure. It's the same for sure. But we are showing them anyways. There you go. Stickers. Okay. <laughs> Moment of truth. Who did we get? Oh, this is the um, Target card. I got Hyunjin. Oh, no. Hyunjin was the only member I didn't pull, I think. Yeah, I, I think he was the only member I didn't pull. And, I, and now I got him. Wow. Like, every card I pulled out, nothing has been a dupe, I don't think. My nails cannot relate with these cats. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Hyunjin. Got his target card, okay. And my photo card. Oh, we got the same Jisung. I'm having flashbacks to Ordinary when I pulled the same Jisung card six times. I mean, I cannot complain. This is the most gorgeous card I've ever seen, so not complaining. And he's my bias, so that's that. <laughs> Only complaining that it's a dupe. Okay, last card we got, ooh, this Simmin card is stunning. Oh my gosh. His lip ring just kills me. And his little skeleton knit sweater that he's wearing. That is the cutest card. Oh, I got this version of the card. Nice, nice. All right. That was everything for that version. And very lastly, we have the limited edition. It's such a pretty cover, right? I could not stop staring at this album because it's so pretty. I love the colors. And I like the black background or the dark background with the bright colors. That's really cool. Very eye-catching. Let's go. Knowing JYP, I don't know if this will be totally different than all the others, but let's take a look. It might be. We got the lyrics so far. Lyrics first. Oh, I have to mention in this song, I love the pre-chorus. It has a really nice sound to it. starts off with the lyrics. I love, wait, which, which line in here? I loved 
I just gotta point out a line I loved in here. This line right here. Jason, you killed me with this line. I will put the English translation there, but this line just killed me. I love it. You know what? Jisung always writes the songs that I love the most. Anyways, I love this song. Okay, so let's see what we're looking at. Yeah, as I expected. <laughs> I kind of expected the photo book to be the same. They might be different photos though, but don't count on me to remember <laughs> if the photos are different or the same. Like they're for sure the same photo shoot, but they could be different photos but that's why i'm gonna go a little bit faster in this version because they are looking the same to me usually the limited edition the photo book is the same but the inclusions are different so that that will be good to have different inclusions jungin you know he wrecked me so much what was it last era no he wrecked me in um during a uh, maniac era i cannot tell you how much he wrecked me I feel like everyone is wrecked by Lino, which totally makes sense because that is a talented man. <laughs> My mom loves Changbin. I think Chan and Changbin are her biases. Wait, what is this? <laughs> is that a jean skirt over jeans? I didn't recognize that before. Like, I didn't realize. And those boots, too. Killing it. Okay, we're not. I just keep noticing things now, now that I'm not talking so much. I feel like I talked so much in the other versions. Like, I sometimes miss things. Now I have like a second round, second round at the photo books to notice things I missed before. Is this one the same or different? Man, <laughs> my memory is not good. Oh, I think my target card of Hyunjin was him in this outfit. Also, we'll see if this one actually comes with the target card because um, it didn't have the target sticker on it. So I'm not sure if this one will have it, but. I won't be fussed if it doesn't come with it because I don't really care too much about the Target cards. I don't think there's anything that special about them. But I heard that people tend to really overprice them for some reason. <laughs> like I know some of the 17 Target cards are really expensive. Did they stop making the cards? I'm, I'm not too sure. Anyways, that was that. Okay, okay this kind of came out. Mine came with two posters. Is that like the extra inclusion in this? Ooh, oh wow, okay. That's a cool looking poster. It looks like they're a humongous group. They look like they're NCT right now with all the members, but it's just them like multiple times. And what poster is this one? Oh, it's a random poster and I got Singmini. Ooh, okay, so I guess maybe this is like the Target um, exclusive in the limited, I don't know. Or do, do they all come with a random poster? Then we have the little booklet here. I can't remember if I pulled this one. I don't think I did actually. I don't think I did, so we'll do a little flip through. Oh man, his skin is so perfect. I guess so jealous. My skin could never, even though I, I do a full-on skincare routine, nope, it, it could never. <laughs> Alright, that was that. Very last set of goodies. Oh, this seems like a little bit thicker, so I think maybe it comes with more stuff, maybe? Or it could be wrong. Oh, it seems like it does, maybe. Let's see whose little poster I got. Oh, we got Hyunjin's poster nice so we got a oh, poster i mean postcard i don't know why i always mix up the word poster and postcard i cannot tell you why but yeah that is hyunjin's postcard <laughs> oh geez oh, yeah. what else did you get in here we got the usual oh no it's all the same no we got different stuff here so this is the little postcards and stickers then we got this right here we got all of the members there All right, and my photo cards, okay, okay. Oh, we got another Changbin, nice. Oh my gosh, for some reason I thought his hair was in a ponytail. I don't know why, it just kind of looked like it. That's an adorable card. There we go, we got that version. Okay, let's see, let's see. Oh, this one, this one does not come with a Target card. And 
Oh my gosh, that is the cutest Chan card. His uh, oh, he's wearing contacts. I was gonna say his eyes are sparkling, but um, I think he's wearing contacts. Either that or his eyes really do sparkle like that. <laughs> Oh my gosh, that is the cutest card, I'm telling you. Oh, oh, the, is this a limited card? I haven't looked too too deep into it. But that was everything, and now we'll just bring all of this back in frame. So that was my unboxing of Stray Kids S-Class. I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!